I thought I've seen it all, but the internet continues to surprise me. Have you guys ever heard of transmaxing? In order to get to the bottom of this insane rabbit hole, I present to you an article titled Transmaxing, the incel to trans woman pipeline. A community of depressed young men with nothing to lose is convinced the only way out of their misery is gender transition. Imagine you're a depressed young man in a developed country. Maybe you work long hours for low pay, maybe you're unemployed. When you were in school, you didn't fit in with the other boys. Girls acted like you weren't even there. You spend most of your free time playing video games and shit posting with online friends you've never met in real life. You rarely have sex without paying for it, and you consider regularly. To the left, you're a threat. A woman-hating incel with latent violent tendencies. To the right, you're a degenerate. A p addicted weak virgin who struggles to impose himself on the world. So where do you go from here? For some men, the solution to the despair of living as an isolated, unhappy male is straightforward. Become a woman. They call themselves transmaxers. And they believe gender transition can be an effective tool for escaping the misery of involuntary celibacy, social isolation, and professional mediocrity. On the surface, this sounds like a 4chan psyop. Something you'd find on Reddit posted by an anonymous account just for some internet laughs. But no, as we're about to find out, some people actually go through with this. So we're gonna watch a banger documentary titled, I'm not a woman, but I'll take the benefits. Transmaxer life uncovered. I'm entering the controversial world of transmaxing. What is transmaxing? Well, according to the transmaxing manifesto, it's when a man transitions to become a woman, not because they identify as a woman, but because they think life as a woman is just better. And they want all the apparent benefits of being a woman and operating in female spaces. We should feel bad for them. Poor incels, they deserve our love and respect. Yeah, all right. How you doing, Sammy? I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Should we go for a little stroll? I like this place, got a nice little spot. A little tiny fridge. Yeah, I got all the essentials. Can I see what's in the fridge? Um, probably fuck all, but... Let's see, moment of truth. Oh, I've got some cakes in there. <laughs> I feel you're a big fan of AA batteries. Yeah, yeah, you need a lot, because um, I, you know, game quite a bit. <laughs> can you pull out the pre-transition clothes just so I can sure, have a look? Sure, This is old Sammy. <laughs> Flannel yeah. shirt. Yeah, pretty basic, not, not too flashy. That is spiritually the same shirt? You're telling me you transitioned and you still have horrendous drip? This is me when I was 20. Uh, hair is starting to recede a little bit. Not a great time in my life. I wouldn't look at that and think, yeah, that is a masculine dude. <laughs> oh my God. This is what balding does to men. When I saw this picture, I was like, yeah, I need to do something about my appearance. You never thought, why don't I try a new haircut? Why don't I start lifting weights? Why don't I get some hobbies? Why don't I acquire some skills? No. You started taking hormones to alter your literal chemistry so that you can get attention from the opposite sex. What did you think a man was at this point? Dominant, successful, outgoing, confident, strong, resilient. How did you think you sat in relation to that? I was a far cry from that. I would take a lot of work to even get uh, close to that. I'm looking at that and I'm like, yeah, you look like a guy. I look like a guy, but I don't look like a manly guy. It has nothing to do with appearance. It is sheer energy alone. Who holds a fish like that? Hello? Florida men are holding catfish with their thumbs, blood dripping to their elbows, smiling on their dating profile pics, and securing trad wives. There's no excuses. Could you get up the kind of transmaxing manifesto? The transmaxing yeah, manifesto. Yeah, I'm sure I can find it. The Transmaxing Manifesto is a 76-page document justifying why this is a good idea. There is no shot I'm going through the entire thing, but I will take you through some of the highlights. There are many potential benefits from transitioning from male to female. Sexual excitement from having a feminine body, the superiority of female aesthetics, access to transbian dating pool. Now, don't be ashamed. I didn't know what that was either. Let me explain. Transbians are trans lesbians. So men who transition to women who are into women. So a straight man who transitioned. 
God. Uh, <laughs> full body orgasms, multiple orgasms from penile stimulation. You will feel emotions stronger and happier on estrogen. Your breasts will become sensitive. Being able to attract cis lesbians, if you become attractive enough. High quality males will be attracted to you. Really? Softer skin and less or no acne. Live longer, be able to extract resources from males because remember, this is predatory. This is not because the people are gender dysphoric. No, this is utilitarian transitioning. You will no longer be driven to do dangerous and idiotic things due to testosterone. Stop and reverse hair loss. I like how they snuck that in for all the Norwoods out there. People will treat you better if they think you are female. Less likely to get killed. Female spaces are cleaner and generally more pleasant, not having to shower with males. Legal sex change becomes more viable. Cheaper car insurance. If you decide to transition to lower your car insurance payments, you weren't going to make it in the first place. It's so over for you. And getting DEI hired because you're LARPing as a trans person. Oh my god. This is the most autistic demonic document I've ever read. Becoming male to female transsexual is a way better option than being involuntarily celibate as a male. If you do not have autogynephilia as an incel, you can try to induce it. Autogynephilia is the supposed eroticism that one gets picturing themselves as a girl. I still can't get over this premise. I don't feel bad. My empathy has run out. Becoming male to female transsexual is a way better option than being an incel as a male. High quality males will be attracted to you. Being able to extract resources from males. Yeah, <laughs> having dinner paid for you or getting drinks at a bar. Has it happened? Yeah, is it like yeah. people have started buying you dinners and stuff? Um, yeah, I've been offered a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. No, stop the cap. No one is buying you anything. It's got a kind of testimonial, the experience of becoming female. I was only 5'8", and I had a 2.7 inch erect penis. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why not invert it? Am I right? Since being on the hormones, I've lost weight, so I'm closer to 5'7 now. I've been on estrogen for six months. So what do you think of changing your sex because you have a 2.7 inch erect penis? <laughs> so it's better to just disregard the penis altogether. You're, you're not going to please a woman with a 2.7 inch penis. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I would rock it if I had it. I'm putting that shit to work. Absolutely. That's almost a flex. Yeah, I secured a baddie and I got a micro peen. What about it? One day when I was wanking, I realized I, I, I was still hard after coming. Then I came again and again. Yeah, I came so many times I wasn't horny for four days afterwards. At which point I came over <laughs> ten times. <laughs> A week after that, I came 40 plus times in less than an hour. What's that got to do with the transitioning to become a woman? I mean, you know, some people do desire that. Desire what? Um, an extreme, uh, intense sexual experience. We're dealing with gooners at the end of the day. These are not serious people. These are goblins, degenerates, incels, who have burrowed themselves in servers, Discord chat rooms. Uh, it feels so good to be right all the time, yes. Of course, they're going to be sexually deranged. All right, so I've just stepped out for a second, and I've got to say that manifesto is one of the wildest things I've read in a long time. You know, this is a group of people who identify as male, um, saying that they are effectively kind of playing the system. You know, they are transitioning because they think life as a woman is easier they think they're going to get males who they can take the resources from they think they might be able to get cheaper car insurance and it just feels like something that is really gonna anger kind of a lot of people by design transmaxing exists to piss off everyone trans people are undermined because they're doing it for social utility women are undermined because they're saying life as a woman is easier and then the trans maxers are assuming that men will be into this go away just watching this video this is on your laptop voice feminization yeah uh, voice training was probably the last thing that i did so, so your voice did used to be different yeah like what i mean i'll, I'll try but yeah i <coughs> 
Hello, Benjamin. So it should sound like this, just normal, bland. <laughs> so you're faking it. So. What have your family said about it all? I don't explicitly present in front of my dad, and then I'm not in contact with my mother. How much do you think kind of not having a hugely close relationship with your parents played a part in the kind of eventual decision? <coughs> a lot! Sorry. A lot! Yeah, I am, you know, a bolder person and a more confident person because, you know, no one showed me how to be. This video gives you a bit of a play-by-play -play of how to get HRT. So this removes testosterone and then this replaces it with estrogen. A lot of people, uneducated people, think you can just gender blend whenever you want. Oh, you can go back at any time. There's no adverse health effects. It turns out your endocrine system doesn't like to be fucked with. <laughs> so trans maxers and anyone looking to do this need to think long and hard before they cause irreversible damage to their health. You're essentially nuking your natural production and signaling of your sex hormones. And there is a whole lot of complications that go along with that. You can't actually get hormone replacement therapy. This is, this is somebody who's posted a tutorial. They take the raw ingredients of estrogen and then inject it. So these are people who are kind of self-medicating, but it's full on instructional, isn't it? Yo, you gotta blur this. Oh, I hate it. Someone's actually asking on this forum, forum how do I get it without my parents' consent? Yeah. And the person says, just buy it and be stealth about getting the packages. What do you think of that? Um, I think that there, it's good that there's like a support network. Some parents can be very um, unaccepting and they will go out of their ways to make their children's lives hell just because of their gender expression and gender identity. Yeah, that's all well and good, but my problem is you are not expressing your gender in any way, shape, or form. You are latching on to the social stigma about being a trans person and reaping all of the benefits for yourself. One reason Sammy and other trans maxes often transition is to find love. Sammy felt they were much more attractive presenting as a woman than a man, and it's kind of worked. Sammy now has a boyfriend called Ross. Really? Tonight is date night, and we're off to buy Sammy's first dress and get a makeover. It'll be the most feminine Ross has ever seen them. How could you date somebody who's LARPing as the opposite sex? This is spitting in the face of trans people. This one's quite nice, bit of belly top action going on. Yeah, yeah. Quite simple. I like the style, not necessarily the color though. Where did you meet your boyfriend? Um, we, we met online. Uh, Discord. How do you feel him seeing you in a dress? There's um, a nervousness. If I'm showing off my balls, yeah, I think that's too much. <laughs> well, I don't want to be seen as a man wearing feminine clothes. I want to be seen as a feminine person wearing feminine clothes. Is this not the most narcissistic display and cry for attention? you've ever seen. I'm being serious. Have you had like a kind of full makeup job? I mean, I haven't had it professionally done, but um, you know, there's a first for everything. Hello, Kareen, pleasure. Yeah. pleasure Thank you, you so much. Can you show me the eye makeup, which you'd like to achieve? Something, something mm -hmm. subtle, but mm -hmm. enough to make a statement. Mm -hmm. Try to uh, feminize my features just a little bit more. Could you explain to Kareen the kind of concept of transmuxing? It's uh, transitioning uh, in order to have a better quality of life, to be treated better by people. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel bad? What do you make of that as a concept? They're pro and con, you know, because again, being a woman, you think men, they have more advantage than women. So for example, better paid, different jobs. Oh my God, better pay. Better pay! None of that is even remotely true. I took a gender studies class in college taught by a liberal professor, and he explained to us that men, on average, seek out more dangerous, higher paying jobs than women. Second of all, women oftentimes leave their careers because they get pregnant and have families. And as of right now, women statistically are beating men in terms of graduation rates, which is a prerequisite for securing a job in the modern workforce. Do you think life's easier 
crazy woman, Karine. It depends, like, fully woman when you give birth, when you are going yeah, through yeah. all that. As a trans maxer, you don't mm. have to necessarily worry about those things, so you get all of yeah, the benefits. Yeah, but if you, you took only the, <laughs> you take only the good parts. Yeah, I didn't even think about childbirth or periods. Nope. None of that. Did you date men prior to identifying as more feminine? Yeah, I just hadn't really explored my sexuality truly till like, till I entered university. But has it got easier now that you're more feminine looking? Oh, definitely, yeah. And does your boyfriend know about the trans maxing? Um. Genuine question. If you're going to date a biological male as a trans maxer, why not just be gay? Because we know the trans maxing part is a LARP. It's a role play. It's fake. You only want the societal benefits of being trans. Hello, Ross. Pleasure to meet you. How you doing? I'm Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. All right, really nice to meet you. Yes, I mean, you look amazing. This is new. I'm yeah. Ross. <laughs> Bros dating Ron Weasley. What do you think of the dress? It's nice. It's, uh, it's almost like Paisley pattern. I'm yeah. from Paisley, oh, so okay. I know a Paisley pattern. <laughs> I was hoping that Ross would be a little bit more excited about the dress. If I was attracted to trans maxers and my trans maxer boyfriend slash girlfriend put on a dress for the first time, I'd go, Awooga! Boing! No. What do you know about the concept of trans maxing? I thought I vaguely knew what it meant. But then as you explained it to me, I was like, oh yeah, no, I don't actually know what this is at all. <laughs> what do you think it is now? You know, changing certain things about themselves to... I don't know, to use the word max, like maximizing, like, I don't know, you're just whatever physical attributes you want to. Although this is an offshoot of looks maxing, an incel ideology, you are not optimizing anything. In fact, you are pretending in order to gain. Oh my god, my presentation skills. Sammy was mentioning that they are into quite conventional gender roles. The man doing more working the woman doing less working. Are you happy with that balance? I suppose it just depends how you look at it. Some will say like, well, traditional gender roles don't really exist anymore. Uh, so yeah, it... I've got a lot to learn if I'm gonna be that. Bro doesn't even know where he is. Who is this guy? So I guess the, the idea of kind of trans maxing, one of them seems to be that women have an easier life. Right. Do you ascribe to that concept? I think maybe in some situations, yes, probably more more towards like kind of social situations. Yeah, it's a con controversial concept that women have it easier because obviously that's often quite the opposite. What do you think of the idea of changing your sex purely to make your life easier, not because you necessarily feel that sex? It definitely isn't for everyone, uh, but if it makes you happier, then I don't see why some people wouldn't do it. He's so down bad himself that he's going to justify this as well. Yeah, everything should be done for our own happiness. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Is that the way to live? I wanted to talk to someone who could speak from that perspective. Julia spent years providing support to trans people in Bournemouth. I was intrigued to find out how Julie would feel about Sammy's decision. Are the trans maxing community part of the general transgender community? Yes, because the phraseology now is trans and gender diverse. Mm. Lord grant me strength. <laughs> oh, they're even protecting trans maxers. If you read the kind of trans maxing manifesto, one of the potential tenets and benefits is to be able to kind of acquire the resources of a male counterpart. Is that the right reasoning to kind of transition? A lot of um, female bodied people do that. They don't need trans maxing to do it. They will look for a partner that has got lots of money um, because they want that security. Is it a, that's a legitimate reason to transition. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying his best, bro. Another um, aspect of the kind of uh, manifesto seems to say that a benefit of becoming trans, a uh, trans maxer is to get diversity hires. What do you think of this? Um, you know, the question is why not? Who are you? Who are you hurting and which laws are you breaking? <laughs> this has got to be satire. This is not real. How are you justifying this? By 
adjusting your presentation such that you get a good job. Yeah, why don't you just tick the Native American box when you apply to Ivy League schools? Who are you to assume that I don't have Algonquian blood? These people are not primed with intellectual answers to his questions. So we need to just laugh at the circus before our eyes because we're not getting genuine responses. The question is though, is that a legitimate reason to transition? It's quite major processes for something that isn't because you necessarily feel as though you want to present as a woman, it's because you want to get ahead. If you're using the system and playing that system to your advantage, that is to be respected. Really? <laughs> Morals, ethics, nah, out the window. Who needs those anyway? We're fucking doomed. Imagine everyone thought like that, where it is morally idealistic to scam your way to the top. But do you think women are, gen are generally just treated better? No, no, a lot of women, no. Um, there's a lot of uh, misogyny is, is still rife. Having said that, there are uh, certain local advantages to being a woman. Someone talks to you more nicely. One of the reasons why they talk to you nicely is because they want to get in your knickers. This is so inherently misogynistic and anti-women because this is not the experience of all women. We are just lobbing out soft, vague generalizations about gender. So I've just finished with Julie and Sammy and I'll be meeting up again with Sammy soon, but that was surprising. I thought Julie would have a real issue with theirs. I thought they'd have a problem with Sammy's motivations, um, but it felt like Julie kind of saw this as just part of Sammy's journey and whatever they choose to describe it as, as long as it makes them happier. That's kind of the goal. At the end of the day, it boils down to hedonistic narcissism. This exists to only benefit the person that transmaxes. And I kind of understand that, but then, you know, the reality is they're doing this for what a lot of people would say are really kind of problematic, kind of calculated reasons. So yeah, it's a difficult one. I mean, a question I have at this point is, you know, maybe Sammy is just going through a transition and this is how they've chosen to deal with it. The problem remains, you can't be pro transmax and pro women because transmaxing is inherently misogynistic and to pretend otherwise is clown behavior. Do you think you could see yourself coming here full bikini, full, you know, out to the world? Um, yeah, in uh, six to 12 months time, definitely. What will happen in that time? Um, my, the effects of my hormones will have feminized my body and I could uh, pull off a bikini without people thinking otherwise, for the most part. Will you identify as a woman, do you think? Um, I don't think so, but I'm, I may change that in like the coming years. So, so you see yourself going forward, yeah, potentially changing your, your yeah, sex so, legally to a woman? Yeah, yeah, just so then I can claim the same, um, you know, benefits of being a legal woman. I'm just so confused as to why transmaxing is your justification for becoming trans. Just be trans or gay. All right, so after two days of filming with Sammy, I can say I'm only more confused than I was at the start. You know, on the one hand, I can see that Sammy's someone who's kind of really struggling with their identity and the sexuality, and transmaxing has given them like a guide on how to deal with all that. It's gotta be the worst guide known to mankind. But on the other hand, the actual kind of manifesto of it all it is problematic. In case you guys were confused on where to start your Transmax journey, conveniently they have a 13 step plan on how to transition. Begin voice training so you will get a female voice. Watch Kashimashi Girl Meets Girl. Don't know what that is. Watch Comp Fur. Have no clue what that is. Watch Inner Species Reviewers Episode 3. No idea. If you still don't feel like becoming a girl, watch TSF, Monogatari, and Residence. Guys, guess what? I don't know what that is. If you play video games, make sure to use a female character. Now hold on just a goddamn second. Just because I play Night Elf female in World of Warcraft 
does not mean I'm trying to transmax. Go to a gender clinic if you need an official diagnosis at some point. Bank your sperm. Start hormone replacement therapy. Removal of unwanted hair. Facial feminization surgery, if needed. Social transition. Can be done earlier if you live in a social environment supportive of it. Sounds like a bunch of fucking weeb shit. Like I said, 4chan troglodytes, so I expect nothing less. Hey, wait, let's do it my way. I can set a car, see the motherfucking driveway.